Welcome to the unboxing review of the Gaumon PD1560 Pen Display Graphics Drawing Tablet. This is what I would call a tablet that sits right in that versatile range of how you can use it. And so this one is a bit special and a lot of fun. And also worth mentioning right off of the bat is that if you do end up interested, and I've got the links below, Gaumon are currently running a massive discount on the tablets through Amazon as well. It means if you live in the States for example, there's just under 25% off which means you can pick up this tablet for less than 360 bucks. And if you're lucky enough to live in the Queen's England like me, the discount is even higher. So straight off of the bat price wise as well, this is quite a competitive tablet compared to others in the range. Anyway, those lovely people over at Gaumon got in touch with me and said, hey Mikey, hey Gaumon, we have a brand new type of pen display tablet that's never been released internationally before. If we send you one, would you like to review it for us? A really random point as well is that I've been liaising with Gaumon, this company, for quite a while now and they are genuinely well excited about getting this tablet out there for an international market. They're clearly putting a lot of effort behind this one. So it's worth mentioning straight away that at the time of sending me this tablet, it came in a pretty standard packaging setup. And the box itself might have more graphics and appear a bit more shelf ready by the time you see this video. Inside you have a small info card for downloading the digital manual, which to be fair nobody reads. But again you might get one in the box by now. And there's a box within a box that includes the screws to attach the optional stand, the charger, a slightly unusual shape to the pen holder, the USB charger for the pen and what I first thought were loads of separate cables to connect up the tablet to the computer, but I'll come back to that. The pen itself has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity which is pretty much at the top end these days of what people expect and noticeably doesn't come with the common copying Wacom style shape that I'm used to seeing with pretty much all of the other tablets. Past a bit more secure packaging is a quick release stand that follows the same design I'm used to seeing on larger tablets so it'll be interesting to see how that supports something more versatile and smaller. And there's also some sort of felt carry pouch for the tablet so that it can function on the desk or on the go. And below that we have the Gaumon PD1560 pen display monitor itself. The plastic material feels okay I'd say, but peeling off a protective layer to the screen itself, it does indeed look very nice. So this is what you can expect basically out of the box. The monitor along with its power and connection peripherals and a screwdriver to avoid any extra hassle and the carry pouch itself. Overall a well packed piece of kit. Now during this review I'll have a go with both setups of the tablet but to begin I flipped it over and screwed in the stand. And so this is how it looks when it sits in a fairly small workspace in comparison to my standard monitor on my desk and even with the stand the screen itself still sits quite close down to the desk level and the glass monitor itself looks really sharp. Now I was pleasantly surprised that the colours straight out of the box matched up with my other monitor meaning it required no further adjustment. Also the image and colour stayed true even at a really shallow screen angle which was great. The immediate and most notably useful parts of this monitor are the quick access buttons you have down the side. There's 10 of them which is fantastic because it means that they can all be set for the different function you'd need to do some artwork without having to keep reaching back to the keyboard. Although the plastic buttons do depress with an audible click. Now the good point about the stand coming separately is that you can screw it in the other way around and have all the buttons down the right hand side of the monitor if you're a left handed artist. God rest your soul. The quick adjust stand is pretty much like all of the others and I was pleased to see that even on this smaller tablet it can go from an extreme low angle right up to 90 degrees upright and remain pretty stable all round. Being that the screen itself is a little bit smaller it also wasn't flexing at all when pushed down at the edges. The pen itself is really nice to use and I quite like how the dimensions and forms match up to that of the old school ink pens as well as the fact that the nib feels good and it has that 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. Also I just wanted to show you how the Gaumon looks next to a Cintiq Companion 2 because although the Gaumon itself still requires a computer or a laptop it does have that portable element to the design and it also slips quite nicely into the pouch it comes with when the stand's not attached. After downloading the driver from their website the screen calibration and pressure controls were all fine to use straight out of the box and with my Windows computer the interface look clean and up to date. So on to actually using it. I wanted to dive right in and have a very quick go at a random character in order to get a feel for what this tablet is actually like to use for an evening. The immediate thing is that I really 
liked the pen to screen contact resistance, which is my main issue with most tablets. This allows you to create a smooth line with a sweeping gesture across a fairly smooth glass surface. It's the pen itself which provides some of the grip and friction and it means that you don't have to start scratching away at the screen in order to build up your line art, which I've had with other tablets and found really frustrating. It worked great with Photoshop straight out of the box and a pressure and pen calibration was all automatically in place without me doing anything. Also it's a 1920 by 1080 pixel screen so the ratio lines up with common computer formats nicely. I had no issues with the pen itself which can be charged by the USB attachment. The second button was pre-programmed to turn itself into an eraser and after I added my own enter and delete functions into the side buttons on the tablet I was able to put the keyboard away to continue drawing. I had zoom in, zoom out, shift, control, enter, delete, escape and all of these were set into the side buttons and I loved the tablet for that alone. Now with a 15.6 inch working screen area this tablet is right in that versatile sweet spot. The screen is just large enough like my Cintiq companion to dive into and get work done while sitting at the desk. But it's also designed to travel around if you ever need to take it with you along with your laptop if you wanted to draw whilst away somewhere. Now interestingly that bundle of cables turned out to be an all-in-one with the power and pen leads for the tablet at one end and the power, USB and HDMI coming out of the other. It reduces the clutter and means you only have to throw the one wire along with the charger into your luggage if you're ever on the move but it does mean it's going to take up a HDMI port and you'll need an adapter if you want to slot it into a DVI port for the sake of using two screens on a standard computer. But seeing as it's designed to be plugged in on the go along with a laptop I doubt it's going to cause any trouble. As mentioned the colours were great and I was confident to work on the tablet without needing to colour level check my work on another screen and it didn't feel too warm to rest on whilst working. Now during the setup I found that it worked and calibrated great out of the box when it was the only screen with my computer but when I tried the unit as a second monitor its pen to cursor location did go out of sync towards the bottom of the screen. Now to be fair I suspect that's nothing to do with the tablet but with my computer because I was using a HDMI adapter to get the other screen back into place, having only one HDMI port myself and I suspect that was probably confusing the software. When I turned the other screen off the tablet pen synced again perfectly and immediately. Just a weird thing I noticed. Now obviously you can find links to the tablet below to grab it on Amazon as well as checking out their website but also down there there is a bit about a promotion that Gaomon are running for reviewers that they asked me to include. Now that promo below is completely with them, it's not one that I'm running myself but I only wanted to say that because seeing as I often do giveaways on this channel I didn't want to confuse between those and this. So what do I think overall? Well, yeah, I really like this tablet. The image is crisp, the colours are great, the screen isn't too thick so that the relationship of the pen to screen area is good and the quick access buttons are the main bit, they're the game changer. It can take a sit down and lean on as a desktop drawing tablet but it's clearly designed to also come with you to work and elsewhere. It means that at home the screen isn't really large enough to use for another monitor for something like watching movies unless you're sitting right next to it but also when it's in that carry pouch it's just a little bit too large to fit in a small rucksack or messenger bag, although it will slip into small luggage quite nicely. This is definitely a monitor that's designed to be grabbed, moved around and used with both hands, pen in one and side buttons with the other. And it does succeed in that manner. Personally I'd like to have seen a DVI connection on the multi cable and the plastic build button quality could be a bit better, but that's it. When it comes to grabbing a versatile tablet I'd say yeah this is pretty damn good. So it goes without saying a great big thank you to those lovely people over at Gaomon for sending me their tablet to review. Be sure to check out the links below if you're curious because again they have only just the other week started supplying this tablet internationally and I think a lot of people are going to like it. So don't forget to throw me any of your questions in the comments section below and let me know if you've got any experience with those versatile type of tablets yourself. Of course you can subscribe to the channel for a general theme of art based stuff in the future and I'll see you next time. Take care.